I'm Mitch with the University of Missouri Extension Master Gardeners. We've been talking IPM this year, Integrated Pest Management. Today's Tuesday tip, we're going to talk about IPM's first strategy, identify your pest, along with the third pillar, prevention. Identification is the first step of IPM. You need to correctly identify the insect. Is it a pest or is it a beneficial insect that is key to cultural natural prevention? Let's take a look at just a few of the beneficial insects you will find in your garden. Our goal is to bring awareness to the identification of the beneficial insects so that you can protect them at every stage in their life cycle. Assassin bugs are important predators. They have a slender body and head, long legs, and beady eyes. Colors can be red, black, or brown. Assassins undergo incomplete metamorphosis. This means that when they hatch, they look like miniature adults. Assassins are about a quarter of an inch long at hatching and will go through four to seven instars or growth stages to reach their full three quarter inch long adult size. Here is a photo of the eggs. You might find these oval brown eggs attached to the underside of a leaf any time during the warm season. Assassin bugs do bite, so it is best not to handle or disturb them. It is a painful bite and will react much like a bee sting. Green lacewings are a pretty predator. Their larvae are our predator heroes, feeding on aphids, mites, whitefly, and thrips. Lace wings go through full metamorphosis. This means that once the egg hatches, the larva look nothing like the adult. After several stages or instars, the larva enter the pupae stage, spinning a cocoon and emerging in their adult form the following spring. Their eggs are tiny, about 1 16th of an inch long, attached to a single strand or stalk. The larvae are often described as looking like tiny alligators and have a voracious appetite for those soft body pests. The next beneficial we're going to identify is the parasitic wasps. This is a huge group of insects and we won't look at individual insects. Parasitoids live on or in the bodies of their host or garden pest and get their food from them. This photo is the pupae of a small brachnoid wasp. The eggs were laid inside of this hornworm. The hatching larvae feed on the inside of the hornworm host until the wasp is ready to pupate. These are the white pupa of the wasp. I call this a good hornworm. Leave it alone to allow the parasitic wasp to mature. Ground beetles are a very common family of beetle that include thousands of species. You know a beetle when you see it. Protect it. Ladybugs or lady beetles are well-known predators in that beetle family of beneficial insects. We all know what they look like as adults, but we want you to be able to identify the eggs, larva, and pupa. This is a photo of the ladybug eggs. 10 to 15 yellow bean-shaped ladybug eggs laid in a line on the underside of leaves. Once hatched, the larvae are often described again as looking like those alligators. Like the adult, they too have voracious appetites feeding on the soft body pest like aphids. After several instars or molts, the larvae enter the pupa stage. This stage looks like tiny little shrimp attached by one end to the bottom of the leaf. When metamorphosis is complete, the skin splits and the ladybug emerges. Asian lady beetles are a nuisance, a smelly insect that clusters and enters our homes in the winter. The status of the Asian lady beetle as a beneficial is now contended as their impact on the reduction of the native ladybug population is currently noted by entomologists. Praying mantis are another easily identified beneficial. Here in Missouri, there are two types that are common. They are aggressive eaters, generally eating any bug it can catch, even other beneficial insects. But even with their indiscriminate food choices, they are important beneficial predators. 
Praying mantis undergo incomplete metamorphosis with the hatching larva looking much like the adults. The Carolina mantis is native, about two and a half inches long. The Chinese mantis are up to four inches long and identified by vertical stripes on its face. Many people destroy the Chinese mantis egg cases to help preserve the native Carolina mantis. Here are the egg sacs of the common mantis. All spiders are good for the garden, protect them. Spider bites though are accidental encounters, so just beware before you reach into dark places that spiders like. Know the beneficials, protect the beneficials. Know their eggs, the nymphs, and the larvae, and never assume they are bad bugs. These insects are the jewels of IPM cultural methods of prevention. Thank you for watching. Send us your comments and we will answer your questions. Check our resources in the show more section. And until next time, we'll see you in the garden.